It's a tangerine dream. Ooh, very, very cheap. Hey everyone, look at this beauty. It's a tangerine dream and I'm going to be hopefully restoring this to back to its former beauty. Yeah, there's not much I can say about this. The colour scheme is unique, I guess. It needs quite a little bit of work and this is going to be part of YouTube's biggest ever MCM challenge. There are going to be, I think, 14 of us included in this challenge. And these are some, in my opinion, of the best restorers and refinishers on YouTube. And a lot of them specialise in MCM furniture. I don't, but I'll give it my best shot in restoring this piece of furniture. I'll let you know a little bit more about the challenge later on in the video. But for now, let's have a look at this beautiful piece of furniture in a little bit more detail. And as always, thanks for watching. As you can clearly see, this has been painted in a very bright orange and I don't think a great deal of care and attention has been taken when it's been painted. As you can see there, the quality of the paint isn't the best, it's all chipped and it doesn't really matter because all this paint is going to be coming off. You can see there a little bit of overrun on the uh, on the details, drips and the finishing touches are this lovely cowhide, I guess it is, print paper on the front, the decoupage front drawers and the matching draw handles. So the legs are Typical MCM piece legs, and they've got some sort of tape detail on them, <laughs> which I'm not too sure why. Overall, I don't know what condition it's in because it's all hidden with the paint. That's had a repair done with some duct tape. It's not the best piece of furniture in the world, although it will look really nice when it's done. Lovely lining paper, and it also comes with a mirror and that is not in bad condition it's not chipped or cracked so I normally start work by cleaning these I'm not going to in this case because all this needs to come off so that's where we'll start hoping this will be just scrape off just with it being damaged in places it might just scrape off if it doesn't then it's paint stripper so yes it's coming off I'm hoping these cup rings aren't going through to the wood but we'll see brilliant the wood looks intact there not mark the wood so that's a bonus this wood grain is lovely Scrape underneath there, obviously I'm going to have to remove this top shelf but I need to remove the paint off this as well so rather than taking that off and trying to scrape it on a, on a bench I'm going to leave that on, scrape all that as clean as I can but before I do that I'm going to take these mirror supports off or am I? No I'm not because that mirror support is a bracket at the back for the shelf so I'm going to have to scrape around that and then take it off and then do underneath. I 
don't know whether you can see that there, it's got a little metal disc which I'm assuming is the shelf support underneath. So it's another nice little bit of detail. I need to set this shelf off now and these shelf supports I've got no fixings on the top so I'm guessing they're screwed up from inside so I'll need to take these these drawers out and have a look I need to set them out anyway so I'll take them out now Woo, look at that beautiful a little bit stiff but they're not too bad actually I will give it a clean inside once I've removed all this paint because it is a bit mucky but you can see you can see that it's difficult to film it looks like there's a screw there so I need to unscrew those now Clean those up, and you can see some great care and attention was taken when painting this. It's not even painted underneath, well, apart from that. Left a bit of the glue on. You can see why, look, it's cracked. So, well, <laughs> you can see why somebody's done that. Probably not the best repair in the world, but hey, it looks like somebody's had a go already, so I'll have to try and get the glue out of that. Well, that's actually got a screw in it. Okay. Lovely hair from a brush. <laughs> Not one, but quite a few. I don't know whether you can tell, but quite a lot of the old finish is still on. So it wasn't sanded to give it a key before it was painted, which is good for me because it means it's coming off easier. But that just shows you if you are going to paint furniture, make sure you give it a good clean. Give it a scuff sand to give it a key for the paint to adhere to and ideally, not all the time, but depending on what paint you use, you sometimes need a primer, which this also hasn't had. Again, that's good for me. <laughs> I will, once all the paint's gone, I probably will have to go in with some paint stripper because this finish is, is not budging with the scraper. So I'll probably have to go over it with some stripper, but let's get the orange, uh, orange nightmare off first. They're very kindly painted inside as well, so. We've got all the paint off now, but you can see, hopefully you can see this on camera. Probably see better there. It's got a grain pattern and there's still quite a bit of, no, there's only a little bit I guess, but a little bit of orange in the grain and a little bit on the sides as well. And I think I mentioned it earlier, it's got its original finish still on this, you can see it there, some of it's scraped off there, but it's still on there. So it's going to need stripping anyway. So I think I may do that next or I may tackle the drawers. That beautiful cowhide paper. <laughs> what are you doing? 
You're supposed to have a poorly foot. You're supposed to have a poorly foot. <laughs> you daft dog. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Come here. That's a good girl. <laughs> oh, that's a sad face. She's not very well, she's got a sore foot. We had to take her to the vets the other day. So she's limping a bit. But she's on medication. We'll get her better. <laughs> you wouldn't know it, but yeah, she's uh, she's been a bit in the wars this last couple of days. Come here. Hey. Okay. You're gonna say goodbye? There you go, good girl. I've got most of it off, most of the finish off the top. Still some orange left in some of the grain. So I'm just going to go over it with this little bristle brush, brass bristle brush, and some fine steel wool just to finish the top off. And then I'll do the same with the sides and these fronts. So I'll do that now. Right, so I've done the entire top now with 4-0 steel wool and some stripper. Just gone up and down with the grain and any stubborn bits I've just got out very lightly with the brass bristle brush. And it's come up okay. So that just needs neutralising once I've done everything else, so I'll crack on with that. Whilst this stripper is working its magic on the finish, I just wanted to explain a little bit more about this challenge. And like I said earlier, I think there's 14 other furniture refinishers, restorers taking part in this challenge. Some of, in my opinion, like I say, the best restorers and refinishers on YouTube. And I'm really excited to be part of this challenge. It was initially dreamt up by Jay at Flipping Draws. And initially there was about three of us going to be part of this and what I'll do is I'll put the names of all the other challengers on the bottom of this part of the video. It is simply mid-century modern furniture, restoration, refinishing, some repurposing and I will leave a playlist link in the description and I'll also leave a playlist link at the end screen. If you enjoy this type of thing you won't want to miss any of these other videos. I have no idea what they're like at the moment, but I've seen some of the before pieces and they are horrendous. As bad as this, if not worse, some of them. So once you've watched this, go over, have a look at all those videos. They are going to be brilliant. So thanks for watching and I'll carry on. A little orange dots there, so I'll get rid of those. Right, it's time to attack these cowhide. Paper drawers. 
hopefully they're in decent condition under that paper. First thing we need to do, take this hardware off. I think somebody's had a go at matching the hardware to the colour of the, the actual unit. So they're lovely. But we'll take those off now. I noticed this one, when I was taking it off, wasn't sitting flat. And the reason being, I don't know whether you can see that, the bolt is actually bent. There is probably a better angle. So I'll just have to replace that bolt. I was just about to start getting the steamer out to steam this paper off. And this edge was just a little bit loose. And as I pulled it back, it looks like, look at that. It looks like the glue has just totally failed. So this will be an absolute bonus if this comes off in one piece. <laughs> this is the first time this ever happened. I've tried taking paper off other things before and it's taken me hours. I just hope all the others are as good as that. I'll just show you one more just to see if it, the same thing's happened. Yeah, looks like it's going to. Need to be careful here. it's lifting the veneer a little bit. So if you pull it, rather than pulling it like that, if you pull it back on itself, sort of roll it back on itself, it's less likely to pull anything up. Brilliant. Easy. It's still coming off really easily, but I just wanted to show you this, look. The veneer must have been broken and it's come off there. So I'm going to keep that piece of veneer because I'll stick that back on. Just need to repair this. I think I showed it you earlier. When I took the paper off, this one must have been damaged already and it's pulled this bit of veneer off. What I'm looking for is that match there, really. This, we can fill that. That's with the masking tape off so it keeps it fairly neat. Just push that out a bit, there we go. Push that down. Let that dry, shape it up, should be fine. As you can see, it's cracked and it's had a previous repair. Now, it's glued quite, <laughs> quite well that. Why they didn't sort of clean it up, I'm not too sure. So I'm going to try and heat it up to see if I can release that glue a bit, clean it out and re-glue it. If I can't do that, I might have to break it off, clean it and try and re-glue it. Failing that, I might have to put a new piece of wood in there, but let's heat it up first and see how we get on. That seems to be working. Don't know what that glue is, but so it's stretching. I think I'm going to have to break this off and then clean it and then re glue it. But we'll see. So, as long as I glue that all back the way it came off, I'll just clean that up now. I've tried and tried and tried to get this to match up, but the crack is just huge. It looks like there's quite a bit of wood missing. So I found this. It's not exactly the same wood. This is oak. I think this is beech or something like that. But these are on the back and that's right at the bottom anyway. So as long as it's strong enough, it'll be fine. So I'm going to cut that piece out there, cut another piece, glue that in, and then re-drill the hole. So that's what we'll do now. That 
that's the way. Right, so that's the repair. And that's what I need to replicate on that side. So I've still got the hole so it'll tell me exactly where I need to drill the hole. So what I need to do, I need two drill bits. The one that fits that. So I'll drill that all the way through. And then once that's done, I've got this drill bit. That's the same size as the larger hole. And I'll drill that about halfway through just to hide the head of the screw. The drawers have got quite a bit of paint on them. Obviously they were put in before the unit was fully dry. So I'm just going to sand these just to just to tidy them up. This has got tape as a design. So I use tape, but generally what I do is I use it as masking and, and paint. So this has just been left on. Pretty easy to take off. It's just got like a dull finish on it. So we'll try and see what they look like underneath. That's got the finish off, but left some marks. It's a bit nicer. Right, time to start cleaning up the hardware. These are the mirror brackets and they're definitely not brass. They've just got a brass coating on it. So if we start going at it with this, it'll just go back down to the silver metal. They're the same. They're from the mirror supports. I'm not too sure what these are. They're non-magnetic. So I don't know what they are. So I'll clean those up with the wheel. And these, I think, might be brass because they're not magnetic and they're quite heavy and they look brass so fingers crossed these are brass but we'll have a look now unfortunately they're not brass they're like I don't know what they are I don't know what the, how long the metal is I mean they've polished up nice but I don't really want, it looks like chrome, I don't really want chrome. Just don't think it goes with a mid-century modern piece. So I'll scuff these up a little bit and I think we're going to colour them. Yeah it's a shame really, I was hoping they'd be brass. Never mind, they'll still look good. I don't think these are brass, but I'll just clean these up because I think I might have to bray these. Let's carry on, let's get everything cleaned and let's see where we are.
I like the colour of the wood without the stain on, but it's a bit old fashioned, it's a bit orange. So I'm going to try and tone it down with some teak, a nice middish brown, light brown. I'm going to stain it with this. Before I add the top coat to all this piece, this shelf is held on with two supports at the front, these supports that I've painted now, and the back is held on with these mirror supports. So without these, this shelf wouldn't have any support at the back. This piece can either be a dressing table with the mirror attached or simply a sideboard. What I want to do is add another support in the centre at the back. So that's the next job. With hard wax oil, without hard wax oil, with, without. <laughs> Look at that shine, lovely. If people want to keep this as a dressing table, that's fine, it'll have the mirror supports and the mirror. If they want to just use this as a nice sideboard, obviously you don't want the mirror on it and if you take the mirror off you're going to have these two mirror supports. So I'm just going to put another support at the back so you've got the strength in that triangle there. My good friend Jay at Flipping Draws sent me these from an old wardrobe and they're the perfect size to do this. And this is a wooden dowel, I think you saw me do it earlier. It's just been sprayed up gold. Right, I just need to do the corresponding one on the top of the dresser and then I can put it all back together. The only things left to do now are to add the hardware, add the shelf and put it all back together including the mirror. So if you've lasted this long I'd like to say a huge thank you. I know it's been quite a long video and I'd like to say a massive thank you to everyone that supports the channel whether that's through the buy me a coffee, the super thanks button or my Amazon wish list. I really appreciate it and if you like this kind of content then Please consider subscribing, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next one. Hope you enjoy the final results. Oh, and don't forget to check out the other videos.